There's nothing simpler than a selfie. With a single tap, you can capture an epic moment. But when it comes to teens and how they view their body, a simple selfie can get a lot more complicated. Around 84% of teens use social media and its role in our lives only continues to grow. As tools for self-expression, it can be freeing and creatively fulfilling, allowing teens to create and connect with one another. However, there can be a downside. The highly visual nature of the most popular social media apps means a person's appearance and body are exposed to criticism like never before. This can lead to a teen developing a troubling relationship with their own body. Given the focus on appearance, activities like taking and posting selfies and monitoring the likes and comments a photo receives are associated with body dissatisfaction. Teens may also feel pressure to alter their appearance in photos before posting them to social media, digitally touching up their perceived flaws. Unfortunately, studies suggest that editing a selfie can actually make a person feel worse about their body. Hiding flaws or uncomfortable parts of ourselves may drive us to pay more attention to them or find ways in which our body doesn't conform to what society holds up as the ideal shape or size. And when a teen sees their peers' edited selfies, it can lead to further problematic social comparisons. These negative experiences may create a gap between a teen's perceived appearance and their ideal appearance, the one they think they should have. This rift can develop into harmful behaviors like disordered eating or engaging in excessive exercise as they strive to live up to the beauty standards they see online. It is unlikely that social media is going away anytime soon, but teaching children and teens to recognize when it is negatively impacting their mental health can help them defend against its most harmful effects. Most importantly, teens should understand that what they see while scrolling doesn't always reflect real people and real bodies, and to think critically about how those images and videos can alter their expectations. This video is based on a chapter in the Handbook of Adolescent Digital Media Use and Mental Health. You can learn more about how to protect teens from the risks of digital media by downloading a free copy of the handbook at www.teensandtech.org handbook.